name is Abdul Rahman. I'm a lecturer at a public university in Kenya. I deliver lectures in computing and informatics. In our last lesson, we discussed about the classification of operators. Basically, we talked about three types of operators. We talk about unary operators and binary operators and tertiary and, and uh, uh, ternary operator. Under unary operator, we talked about arithmetic operators, we talked about relational operators, logical operators, bitwise operators, and we finish up with an assignment operator. Today, we are going to take up the unary operator and go into details. And that particular journey will take us to see what is the definition, classification, and the syntax of unary operator. So, let's start with what is unary operator. Basically, it is actually a symbol used by C programmers, uh, C program to perform mathematical computation in a single operand. Here, we are talking about a single operand, that it is actually a value or a particular variable, a value or a particular variable. So basically, here we are talking about a single operand. So it must be a single operand. And also, it uh, actually has got two, uh, uh, two characteristics. It either increases the value by one, so it increases the value by one, or alternatively, it decreases the value by one also. So this is what you call up a unary operator. So let's see what is the classification of these unary operators. So basically, we are classified into two. One, uh, it is what we call the increment. And the second one, it is the decrement. And further, the increment uh, unary operators, they are divided into the pre-increment and the post-increment. And the decrement operator, we are further divided also into two, the pre-decrement and the post-decrement. Now, let's see uh, what are the difference between these particular terminologies. Let's start with the terminology, what is an increment? So an increment, just like an English word, basically will mean that the value of the variable is increased, that it is increased by one. And when we are talking about decrement, basically it means the value is decreased by one. And then there is another word which we talked about, it is pre. The pre, it means, it means, pre means before. Before what? Before the variable. And then we have got another word called post. So the post means after. After the variable itself. So basically, that is the definition and the classification of uh, this uh, urinary operator. Let's come up to the syntax. So basically, if uh, we are going to say pre-increment, the pre-increment, the syntax will be in a very simple manner. We are going to do it, so pre it is before, so we are putting up the new, uh, 
uh, operator before the variable name. So that will be uh, the syntax of it. And uh, when we are talking about uh, the post increment, this will be, since the word post it is after, so it will be after. So here we have got the variable, and then we'll have our increment operator. And then when we come up to the pre decrement so it will be we have to start pre it is actually before so we'll have to decrement and then we have got our variable and here when we're talking about the post decrement it will be actually the variable name and then the decrement part of it so basically, this is the, uh, the syntax of how unary operator uh, works. So let's go now back and see how actually we can implement this one in Dev C++. So basically here, we are declaring a variable, two variables. One, we are signing up a value of 10. Another, there is no value. And then we are printing up the value of A. We expect here to get up uh, our answer to become up a uh, uh, 10. So our value here should be given up as 10 because we have assigned 10 into memory allocation. And then now we want to assign uh, our variable B to what? We are assigning our variable B whereby we are saying now we have to increment A. A basically was 10 now we're incrementing it by one when we're saying plus plus a we are doing what pre-incrementing and actually it means a is equal to a plus one so this is the meaning of when we write b is equal to plus plus a it means uh, b equals to a plus one so basically that's what we're doing after incrementing here after incrementing we have to find up the value that it has been incremented by one so 10 by one here the value will give us uh, actually to be up 11. So it is very important to understand that. So when you execute this particular program, yes, it gives up the value of A before it is incremented to be 10. After it is incremented, it becomes up 11. So in summary, we should understand that uh, um, when we are saying, for example, A plus plus, it actually means a is equal to a plus one, a plus one. And when we are saying a minus minus, it means a is equal to a minus one. So basically that is it about incremented and decremented. We have got the pre and the post. So we are going to continue with the operators in our next lesson. However, don't forget to subscribe uh, in the link below for more videos. Thank you.